Minister, if you were to explain to the rest of the world what Russia has done at your borders, what has happened, what's going on? Everywhere you have unresolved conflicts. And as different as these conflicts may be, there is really something common. And unfortunately, this is Russia as an actor. Obviously, Russia uses these conflicts either by stirring them or at least by keeping them. In Georgia's case, that was a very direct intervention and occupation of the territories to try to exert the influence. And this happens since ever the Soviet Union has collapsed, since early 90s already. I would even say, but that would be too much for one interview, though, that those kind of time bombs in terms of explosives were set during the Soviet Union, which was a very unnatural empire based on totalitarian regime and bringing together countries and peoples that didn't have to do much together. So they had to invent the system that would kind of secure against crushing of this huge unnatural empire. And one of the ways was to, you know, in, in many countries to plant their detonators such as potentially explosive conflicts and try to play uh, the differences such as ethnic differences within the societies against each other. This is what happened in Georgia and in the other countries as well because it, it's yeah. no coincidence as I tell you if you look at the bigger picture. And up to now not letting these conflicts being solved or raising barbed wires is a part of strategy. They want to divide these people while we try to build the bridges of reconciliation and confidence building. I tell you, in Georgia, there is a lot of potential because those people now, Abkhazians, Ossetians, Georgians, you know, they're, they're Abkhazia especially has been very cosmopolitan. There are also Armenians leaving. There have been Jews, uh, Ukrainians, Estonians, really multinational. There has been a lot of bond between these people. Up to now, uh, one third of families inside this region are Georgian Abkhaz. So, which means that uh, the offsprings of those families after the conflict have to identify themselves on either side of this artificial divide, which are personal tragedies for many, you can imagine. Mm -hmm. So, split identities, really destroyed families, destroyed faiths, 10,000 people dead. And today, by the way, we created a commission on uh, finding the missing. There are still 2,500 people missing. For Georgia, which is a small society, it's 3.8 million yeah. people altogether. That's quite a big number. Sure.